All right, good morning, 6 a.m. in Johannesburg. I'm super excited. Welcome to my podcast, Rumbi and Sins, at our podcast. Trust me, without you, there's no podcast. So I'm super excited to this morning. Let me just tell you, I'm super excited. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed thus far. I've seen quite an influx of numbers lately, and trust me, it means a lot. I feel blessed, energized, and it means a lot. And also to my regulars that started with me since day one. You are super amazing. And I want you to know how much I appreciate you. But we are back again in the ring and we're really looking at um, Mr. Mnangawa this morning. First thing that I'm going to do is to actually let you guys watch this video from a lady who was at Citizen Coalition for Change um, in uh, Mutare. Take a listen. Because 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 all right guys i've been busy conversing literally just um had a few days and i wanted to read this tweet quickly from max lion a wise man he said if monangogo becomes the president this month whether through cheating or not it would reflect badly on the country how does anyone in all conscience help Mnangagwa to be president? Why can't the army, police, civil servants say Zim is better than under a new leadership, not Zan? The abuse of power is unprecedented. The silly games through the courts show a total disregard for the people. It's an insult to the people if you think about it. So why give him another five years? Why? Why allow him to cheat the people and mess up their lives? If people get their act together, they can stop this foolishness. That's why I've always been saying, I am done with the capturer. I'm not dealing with the captured because I have the power to give anyone a remote control. But I've realized that most of people are so gullible, they fail to understand the power of sacrifice and the power of commitment to life. They can easily give their birthright. If so did, so this birthright because of meat. And I can see most of you, you're selling your, big, your birth rights because of temporary gratification. It's called lack of wisdom. You know, wisdom is profitable to direct, correct? Yeah, very interesting. But what can we say? We keep pushing and trust God for divine intervention. That our people wake up and realize how important they are. The power of purpose. Um, all right, so trust me. There are two pictures that I want you guys to take a look at. So we have the president of Burkina Faso at 35 years old. This guy is really an inspiration. I'm 40, so pretty much 35. <laughs> He's very young, so amazing. And then we can put him and we can put Mr. Mnangagwa. So you can see actually there that Mr. Mnangagwa was landing. Mm -hmm. is a landing. Um, and we have the president of Burkina Faso sitting with a vulnerable hearing their story so deeply and caring for them. We can all agree that over the years, one thing that Zimbabwe is missing is servanthood. We have gods, but we don't have servants. The last time I checked, being in a political space is a place of service. But politicians, Zimbabwe and South Africa are gods. It's all about what they're getting, looting day in, day out. They are not servants. But real servants is you go into the deep, 
You have conversations with the people. You understand how they feel about certain policies, what their challenges are, and you come back to the offices and see how you can be of a blessing. So now we have seen the lady that I used from the first um, video there. A woman, the old people are the most suffering as we speak. They're literally depending on the diaspora handouts. That's the kind of culture that we have built. Very sad, embarrassing, that's what I can call it. But you can see young boys are busy cruising, you know, jets and are living this flash and fair boy and life. Disregarding the elders, disregarding our culture, disregarding our people. It is a shame in 2023. Sometimes I don't even know how people go to bed. But you know, it's a culture that we build a culture of selfishness, greedy, no empathy, either sympathy. Very sad indeed. Because as far as the elites or the culture is concerned, it's all about supporting their lavish lifestyle, flying all over the place, slay queens all over the place. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a shame, concubines. You know, they've got all the money so they can take as many women as they want to. How did we get here? May God have mess on us, really. May God have mess on us. Now, moving right along, there is an article that came out that is Zimbabwe is now worse than under the regime of President Robert Mugabe. And we all can agree. I mean, who doesn't? So there was a poll that was done by of official news. So they said, ahead of poll, Zimbabwe now worse than under Mugabe is Zan PF mob stones opposition supporter to death reports. And we all know what happened recently to Tinashe. Tinashe was literally stoned. Um, so it's with allegations to death. But they also mentioned that there is um, an intervention as per the reports of Zim Live that um, there was also a car that was involved, but I can't give more details because I don't really have the correct information. You know, different um, bloggers, different narrative, so still waiting for the final statement. But what we know and what we witnessed is that the mob from Jamison PF pursued Citizen Coalition for Change. As a matter of fact, or as per allegations, they, this was premeditated so that they can cause chaos for Citizen Coalition for Change. It's a shame. It is a shame. You know what's so sad? Is you're looking at young people who are being used by the elites. The elites and their kids, they're at home. Some of them shopping in Dubai. Some sipping champagne. Some are sitting as watching TV. And your children, vulnerable children, are being used to, to play or to do their dirty work and carry all the cases, carry all the, the, the evil spirits. And why are they still clean? When are we going to value ourselves, brothers and sisters, and put our souls first? That when an elite or cartel comes and says, hey, can give you this man to go and do dirty work, who said, sorry, say, I'm bigger than your dirty work. Go outside and do it yourself or send your children to make a mess. We are very close to elections, but a lot of drama is happening, and no one knows what's going on. This is why all these polls are being done. People are trying hard to give us balance, but at the end of the day, we have to stand up and play a part in Zimbabwe. Now, trust me, the, so some PF like Citizen Coalition for Change had a phenomenal uh, rallies this past weekend. But some PF, you know, they, they believe in bossing the whole country to one rally and then manipulate pictures online. It's sad. Look at those pictures. They are manipulated and they so claim that it's a drone that takes these pictures. But we all know what the goal is rigging elections. But this time, we are holding you by the horn. You can't escape. <laughs> you cannot escape. <laughs> you can't escape. We mean business. Yes, we mean business this time. Now, Sidney Sekromai attended one of the rally of um, Zampiev. And I would like you guys to take a listen at how he greeted the people and how he sloganian. Uh, take a look at this. Wachiva Zwekare Kuno Kumashona Land East Baba Dr. Sekera Mai Uyai Musanga Nenelamwe Uyai Mutitre Slogan Baba Sekera Mai Chairman We Elders Kambe Nega Nupi Yev 
Pambeni la president kombe Dr. Idi Mnangagwa. Pambeni la kubatana. Pambeni la kuina my elections. Pasne Bava. Agadi la kombe. I guess it's time. He said it passing in Bava. I guess it's time that someone has to rise up and speak truth. Pasi Nimbava. We are done with the thieves. It's time for you guys to exit because you have stolen enough. You know, like I've always been saying, guys, you all know that the president is really mature. And this is why the cartel keeps on pushing to be in the place like they did with, the, with Mugabe so they can loot with impunity. But we won't allow it this time. We will remove you and we can take our country back to the hands of builders. Um, those ones were don't go more, go more beds, you know. <laughs> take a listen to me. I don't go more beds, and nothing is happening. We don't want those people now, guys. Chaos, really, when as far as the voters were concerned, we are hearing quite a number of things that are shocking. You know about the voters row. One minute the voters row is the one. One minute it's not the one. We've got another voters row. And you know the issue of Sylvia Kasukure too, who is also hanging on a thread because his application is in the constitutional court. And by tomorrow Tuesday, people will be sitting and see how they can be able to deal with that fate. But I still believe that he must be on the voters row.